my name is Paul Susi from Environmental Solar Systems, also Advanced Food Dehydrators. I'm um, here to show you our Airflow 640. Um, basically, how we derive our Airflow 640, it has 200 trays or grills that are measured 18 by 26. And there's 200 of them, so that's that equals about 200, 640 square feet. Um, we have five NSF racks that can be rolled in and out easily, loaded and unloaded very easily. And um, uh, the construction of our Airflow 640 is basically we have um, heavy duty aluminum profile ribs up for the floor that are welded together with a heavy duty plate on top, aluminum plate, and the walls are heavy duty aluminum profiles that are welded together with um, aluminum sheet on the outside with uh, polyisosanderate foam on the inside, um, and then another sheet of um, aluminum on the inside. Our, the door, we use all stainless steel hinges, as you see, all the hardware, the door hinges are stainless steel, and all the hinges, the uh, latches are also stainless steel. Um, I'll show you how it makes it easy and convenient to roll these up in and out. Five of these NSF racks, aluminum racks, are heavy duty with um, like a, uh, 30, there's 40 of these per, per rack, equaling uh, 200. And uh, so this is our drying chamber here. We have um, airflow fins that direct the air through the trays, so it, it kind of circulates all the air equally through all the trays as it, the, the, um, the exhaust fan wicks the moisture off at the same time. I will demonstrate that how it works in a minute. All right, what, what we have here is um, the electrical. It's a commercial three-phase circuit breaker panel with three-phase breakers. Um, right here we have just a temporary service at, at the moment. Um, over here is our control panel with a differential controller. And you could control the temperature up and down by just setting the set button and moving the arrows up or down to your desired temperature. Uh, we have a timer, a digital timer here that you could set for whatever time you need. And we have also a control switch here for the damper and also for the exhaust fan. So the USDA recommends you bake, uh, cook the beef jerky at 160 degrees first before the dehydration process takes place. So what you want to do is you want to close the damper until it reaches the 160 degrees at 100% humidity, then flip it down and that opens up the damper and, the, and turns on the exhaust fan to vent the moisture out. Um, we have two heavy duty uh, circulation motors that are 85.6% efficient. Uh, we have a data recorder over here that records the temperature and also the humidity. And we have a smart sensor inside the drying chamber to uh, data log all that. And we also have a variable speed up here that can control the motor speed just for different processes. And uh, that's about it.